Hey everybody, is this thing on? Looks like it's on. Hey, welcome to a very special clickbait episode of Vegas Weekly. Thought maybe that uh, little thumbnail would uh, catch the eyes of uh, some of our less attentive viewers and get them to check out what's going on. Um, the answer to the question, is this the end of Vegas Weekly, is no, not really. But uh, we are going to make some changes to the channel. I'm going to explain a little bit about that today. There's not going to be any music. There's not going to be a cocktail today. I'm going to try to wrap this up in under 20 minutes. If you're just stumbling on this channel today, this is probably not the day to watch it, but I hope you'll uh, um, save it and check us out in the future. As the stuff we're talking about today is inside baseball stuff. And uh, for those people not so familiar with that phrasing, you know, a lot of people are sort of casual sports fans, or even people who, you know, really, you know, maybe Sunday afternoons during the season, they watch football. They really enjoy watching the game, but they may not sit around and obsess over it all week long and uh, watch all the talk shows and, you know, dig in all the statistics and everything. Um, when I was young, as a teenager, um, and even before that, I was kind of a big baseball fan. Um, at that time, I mean, I could have told you pretty much every player on every team. I collected the baseball cards, but I was really less interested in watching the games than I was in all of the statistical data. You know, I would get the sort of, you know, baseball digest and all the various uh, statistical things I could get my hands on, the sporting news, which was great because I had all the statistics and everything. And I just, I poured over that stuff. And that sort of stuff you know, can be thought of as sort of inside baseball stuff, all the sort of minutia. Um, and people love that. People that love it really love it. Um, I, as some of you know, I'm a big NBA basketball fan, and I can sit around and listen to NBA radio on you know, the satellite radio for hours on end. Um, I'm just interested in it. it. Has nothing to do, you know, at this point, you're not, there's no game. So it's not like you're getting any enjoyment out of that. You're just getting the enjoyment out of talking about it and talking about the nuances. And uh, that's a great sort of thing to have. If you can get anyone engaged so much that uh, they become interested in all the minutia of uh, what you're saying, it's awesome. You know, I have observed, and this is anecdotal, and I'm sure there's a lot of exceptions. But as I look at a lot of YouTube channels from smaller channels with you know a few hundred subscribers to channels with millions of subscribers, one of the interesting things I've noticed is that most videos out of the gate, maybe within the first three, four days or so, it's very common uh, for the viewership to be only about 10% of the subscribed um, people for that channel. So. You know, if you have 10 million subscribers, a lot of times you look and they got a million views. Um, in my case, I have about 1,600 subscribers. And generally, that sort of 150, 160 is, is kind of where it tends to sort of level out. And those people are really committed. And they know all the nuances of what you've talked about on the channel in the past. And they're really interested in it. And they're engaged with you personally. And they know the inside jokes and everything. And it's really easy to cater to those folks. And what I've learned over the last few months is as I've done a lot of stuff that I, is kind of self-indulgent, you know, I walk around my neighborhood or I, I taste test chicken wings or macaroni and cheese or something, or I talk in great detail about you know, sort of statistical information about, uh, about my trips to Las Vegas, that there's a group of you, and a lot of you are probably the ones watching right now, that really, you know, sort of you know, are into that. Um, and they kind of jump on that. And even the stuff the last few weeks where I've talked a lot about Vegas vlogging in general, and live streams, and, and, and walkthroughs, and, and my perspective on those things, and why I do or don't do the things I do, that fascinates a certain percentage of you. And so it's very tempting as you do these shows to, to make them sort of inside baseball shows. 
Uh, but that works a lot better with if you have 10 million subscribers than if you have uh, 10,000 or a few hundred. Um, and, and we have not been growing the channel all that fast. Um, we've been growing the Facebook group at a great pace, and I've seen a lot of channels that have been growing. And even though I will gladly admit that what we do here on Vegas Weekly and on the Wednesday show is not for everybody, um, it, it feels like we're not necessarily engaging new viewers very well. Sure, sometimes people find us and really enjoy uh, the banter, uh, but you know, if you come upon this channel the first time and you hear me joking about JP or, or PJ or, or something that you know about because you've been watching the channel for months or years, uh, you might not be like, well, I came here to watch stuff about Vegas. This is, this is just some guy talking. Um, so we are going to make some changes. Um, we're going to move a lot of the sort of off-topic self-indulgent stuff that a lot of you enjoy. It's still going to be there. We're going to move a lot of that stuff to the Wednesday show. Um, I haven't talked to PJ, but we may move Cocktail of the Week to the Wednesday show. Um, I feel, I always feel like I'm taking advantage of his friendship and kindness as it is uh, asking him. I, I don't actually ask him, to be honest. He always says, hey, do you have a cocktail for this week? Um, I can get something to you. And I enjoy it, and I think a lot of you enjoy it very much, and it's a nice break in the show. But again, if I click on a channel that's called Vegas Tips and Tricks and a show called Vegas Weekly, and uh, for a few minutes I hear joking about something, and then I set through and there's some news and stuff, and then it goes to a cocktail, I'm like, well, I didn't click on this channel to watch a cocktail. So maybe that gets moved, or it gets moved sometimes. Or, um, I, you know, I would love to, PJ has so much great information. I would love for him to share uh, some of his thoughts about Vegas. Um, I would love some of you to share your thoughts about Vegas. Um, imagine uh, doing a three to five minute trip report. Remember trip reports? Some of us loved trip reports. We used to read them all the time back in the early internet days before people could easily post videos, before broadband was a really easy thing. I'd like to do some of that. You know, I think one of the ways we can do a better job of engaging the people in the Facebook group in what we're doing on the channel is maybe to pick out a question or two every week that came up in the Facebook group, answer that question, you know, make sure we give credit to the person that answered or asked it, uh, post that video in the group. Because again, what, you know, if you, if someone on a YouTube channel mentions you by name and answers your question by name, you're going to be more engaged. You're going to be more likely to come back and watch that show. So I don't think it's probably a great surprise uh, to most of you. Again, I assume this is sort of the hardcore anyway, that I am in regular contact. And when I say regular, I mean, Sometimes on a daily basis, there are people I talk to pretty much every day, other Vegas bloggers um, and people that I talk to several times a week. Sometimes I don't talk to people for a couple of weeks, you know, and you're engaging them in terms of the comment sections of their own videos, uh, things like that. But there's probably a couple of dozen Vegas bloggers that I talk to on a regular basis. And a lot of them are kind of, and I don't know if it has something to do with the glut. You might say there's not really a glut, you know. I, I, I go on uh, YouTube and one of my uh, weaknesses is uh, food related videos and food tasting related videos. Maybe that's why I decided I was gonna play around with that for a while. And some of these channels have millions and millions of subscribers. But you know what? Everybody eats. So food is a topic that's interesting to a lot of people. As many of you know, I recently got a new vehicle and for a while, actually for a couple of years off and on, I've been watching different automotive channels. And those channels, a lot of those may have a million or more subscribers or hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. But why? Well, almost everybody at some points in the market for a new vehicle. And there's a lot of people that are just interested in cars. So it's not surprising that a lot of those have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. There aren't that many hardcore Vegas people. You know, I think the largest Vegas group on Facebook is, I don't know, 60, 70,000 people. That's a fair amount. We don't know how many of them are active. 
We've got 26,000 plus now in, uh, in the Vegas Tips and Tricks Facebook group. That seems like a lot, but there's a, a, a limit somewhere up there. You know, we've got channels that are Vegas related on YouTube, uh, 100,000 plus, you know, is that the limit? How high can you go? So I think a lot of channels have kind of been looking at themselves and reflecting on what they want going forward. And I know a number, pardon me, a number of folks are kind of thinking about stepping back a little bit. Um, some folks may be deciding they're not gonna vlog anymore either because they're not, it's not fun for them anymore, uh, the channel just never really took off the way they had hoped, and it's just not worth their time and energy anymore. And, uh, you know, they're just reassessing their activity on social media and on YouTube. And I think just this past few days that I've just had a lot of more time to just sort of sit and reflect on things, I realized that maybe that's what I've been doing. And, and that's why I decided to sort of reassess uh, the channel and what we're doing. When we first started this channel, and I, it, sometimes people, again, people have asked, well, good Lord, how come you've got 26,000 people on the group and there's only 1,600 subscribers? How come all those people don't sort of cross-pollinate? Well, it's different. And honestly, the Facebook group came before the channel. The channel was sort of a supplement to it. The Facebook group has thrived, I think, mostly because at a certain point I decided it wasn't about this channel. It wasn't about me, but it was to provide a forum for people, and it has become that forum for a lot of people. Um, and they feel a personal ownership in that, and, and that's why they gravitate towards it. Um, but you know, where do we go? I mean, I did a website that's been kind of moribund for the last couple of years. I mean, admittedly, last year, and get a pass for that. Uh, we've done a podcast. We're gonna do. We're gonna keep doing that. Try to keep doing that on a monthly basis. Hasn't exactly gotten rave reviews. Uh, we've done pretty well with our Twitter account. We're closing in on three thousand followers. That's pretty cool. I do enjoy sort of the banter on there sometimes. I have fun with that. We've got an Instagram account. We're closing in on a thousand, which is pretty good because I haven't really put a lot of pictures up lately. Um. We never did Snapchat or TikTok, and I don't think we probably will. But sometimes it's uh, you kind of try to do too much. You know, we, we tried to do merch at one point, and, and it wasn't good merch, honestly. It was kind of crappy stuff. Will we do that again? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, we've done channel memberships, and we've had several people that have taken advantage of it, and I appreciate that. That's, that's great. Um, and obviously we've been monetized and so we get, we get a little something from Google every now and then. I'm going to say one thing and I'll start it with this show. Uh, we will monetize it. We will put ads on it. Uh, we're not going to, and I can't tell you what Google's going to do, okay? But um, I basically said run ads anytime. Um, we're only going to click on pre-video ads. So if you're not premium and you watch the show, you may have to watch a short piece to get into the video, but I'm not going to uh, click on the put, you know, put ads in the middle of the show. We're not going to break it up that way. So that's over. Um, we may do merch again too. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, not for now. Not until I feel like it's, it's the right thing to do. So some of that, again, has just been me sort of deciding what to do. But, um, but yeah, so... The Saturday show, which is Vegas Weekly, which is the show you're watching now, uh, we're going to try to focus more on Vegas. We're going to talk a lot. We're going to talk a lot more about comps because people seem really interested in that topic. It's something when I talk about it, it gets a lot of views. So we're going to talk about Vegas sort of comps and, and deals associated with that. I think that'll help. We're not going to change the name of the channel to Vegas Comps or something, but I think it's a niche that isn't necessarily all that well fleshed out. And so when we do uh, talk about it, it tends to get some, uh, some good press. Um, um, and again, to the degree that we do sort of uh, inside baseball stuff, we'll push it more towards the end of the broadcast. So hopefully we get some people sort of setting through the rest of it, and then they kind of learn a little bit about the, uh, the VT and T culture that has developed and the mythos that has developed of sorts uh, around the channel uh, over the past few years, which is it's still fun stuff. And we'll still do that. Um, yeah, I mean, any sort of social media presence, any sort of YouTube channel is going to evolve over time. And I've seen that even with channels with millions of subs. 
but we're going to try to engage some new viewers going to try to bring some people in and get them to watch more of the show and hopefully uh, in recruit them. So we're not going away. We've changed a number of times. Originally when this channel started, it was, it was short videos taken in Vegas, little short clips. I think originally the sort of uh, the line was Vegas in three minutes or less. Well, I'm sure some of you wish this video was three minutes or less, uh, but that, yeah, that was the thing. Not so much uh, as it developed when we sort of ran out of ideas. And, you know, we were doing walkthroughs and, uh, you know, that kind, of, those kinds of videos when not a lot of people were doing them. And now, as you know, as I've said in the past, I don't need to walk through the link anymore. I do the rumor tours kind of for myself because I like to remember where I stayed. And, uh, yeah, they get, you know, they get views. If you do walkthroughs and you do room tours, I am not criticizing you. And you know, I've had this sort of feedback with people. It's like, well, those, those videos get a lot of views. I'm like, yeah, I know. I mean, I, I, it would say, you know, it, I don't think I've ever had a just regular talking head video like this that got a thousand views, but there's probably 50 uh, sort of Vegas videos of one sort or another that have, and that makes perfect sense. Very few people like, search on YouTube for guy talking about Vegas. <laughs> Middle-aged man discusses Vegas. No, that's not what they're looking for. They're like looking for Paris Room Review. My Paris Room Review got a ton of views. So um, so again, we'll have to reevaluate that on, on future trips to Vegas. Um, and it, let, me, let me make another announcement. So first, just to summarize things, the Saturday show, we're going to make it a little more streamlined, try to bring it in under 20 minutes, and also uh, focus more on things that pertain directly to Las Vegas. The Wednesday show is going to continue to be a free-for-all where anything is possible, where you might have a field trip, you might have some personal reflections, you might have uh, taste tests, uh, cocktails, anything goes. So some of you are going to love the Wednesday show. Um, and some of you may not, and that's okay. I could make two channels. I don't want to make two channels. If you've got two or 10 channels, good for you, but that's not what I want to do. So, um, so that's how we're going to do that sort of focus. And that's really what today's video was about. So there's no music, there's no cocktail, there's nothing, we're just talking. Um, I will say, um, in, uh, I guess this is that, what I used to call the housekeeping notes. <laughs> I always remember my uh, UK friends used to give me a hard time about the vacuum cleaner. That maybe we should throw that in. No, we're not going to throw it in. But um, um, we will probably do something this Wednesday that will be related to a uh, casino uh, hopping trip that I'm making with a friend of mine on Monday, um, which almost didn't happen, but it's going to happen. Kevin, glad uh, glad that uh, you're feeling better. Um, and uh, then we'll be back on next Saturday with the new improved, new improved question mark, Vegas Weekly. Um, and I will make one more announcement here before I go. We're almost at the 20 minute mark, which is where I want to keep this. Um, I have booked a trip to Vegas. I'm not currently going to tell everyone when it is. Some of you know already, and I'm guessing over the course of the next few weeks, it will leak out. I'm not trying to book a trip with the idea of creating some sort of event or trying to bring a bunch of people there to see me and, and kiss my ring or something. That's not what it's about. Um, there will probably be some other Vegas vloggers around. I will vlog uh, what I do to some degree, uh, but I'm not planning any sort of get togethers specifically for me or for Vegas tips and tricks. Um, I'm suffering a little bit from major event fatigue, <laughs> which may go you know, hand in hand with live stream fatigue, I don't know. But um, I went to the very, the first and second uh, versions of the summit, um, the sort of gathering thing that uh, my friends Dave and Michelle put together. Uh, went obviously to the first Rocktober. It's unlikely I'm going to be at Rocktober. Could be, but unlikely. Not gonna make it to this year's summit, unfortunately, my apologies. Um, I think uh, Dave and Michelle are going to talk about that today, but, but I am going to, I am going to Vegas and, uh, so, uh, I'm sure things will leak out over time, but I thought I would share that and, uh, we'll have a good time with it and we will definitely vlog it. So, 
Okay, everybody, um, until I talk to you next time, I hope that you have a great, lucky, and healthy week. We will see you soon. 20 minutes.